Today's video is in partnership with Indeed for Black History Month. Welcome to a day in the life of a healthcare IT consultant. Flip the script edition with Indeed. I am a black woman in corporate America, a double minority, a black woman. Women facing both race and gender discrimination have a much more difficult path to success in corporate America. And this is why we have to flip the script. So many times in my career, I've been the only person of color in the room. I remember when I was managing a surgical practice owned by two fierce white female surgeons. There was a large healthcare organization that was trying to form an accountable care organization, and they wanted the practice that I was managing at the time to join. The executives of the healthcare organization trying to form the ACO were courting my surgeon owners with the hopes of persuading them to join the ACO. They invited us to have dinner with the governor, we were invited to galas, sporting events, you name it, we were invited to it. Before all of the fabulous courting began, the healthcare organization invited us to an ACO interest meeting with their CEO and executive leadership team. Unfortunately, my surgeons were unable to attend the meeting, so I had to fly solo. There were 12 white men present who were all over the age of 45 and me in the meeting. Y'all, I was the only black person, I was the only woman, and at the time I was 29, so I was also the youngest person in the room. That's a triple minority if you're keeping count, race, gender, and age. I vividly remember profusely sweating as I sat there listening to the presentation. Thank God I was wearing a blazer that day because otherwise everyone would have seen how drenched my blouse was in sweat. At the end of the presentation, the CEO opened up the floor for questions and general discussion. Every time I spoke, one of the executives would interrupt me. I let the first couple times slide because I thought maybe he was interrupting me by accident. However, I observed that he was not interrupting anyone else except for me. The next time I went to speak, he attempted to interrupt me again. This time in a polite and calm tone without any assertion because of course I did not want to be labeled as the angry black woman, I said, I am speaking. Child, that man kept over talking me until one of his peers stepped up and said, Courtney is speaking, please be quiet. While it was nice to have support, I was heated because I did not want to have a white male savior swoop in to rescue me. I wanted to rescue myself. That is the day I decided to flip the script by taking ownership of my powerful and impactful voice. I accepted the fact that my career choice puts me in predominantly white spaces. While I've worked hard to get where I am and I know that my experience and qualifications got me here, my voice matters. What I have to say is valuable and I deserve to be respected. Let's talk in the comments. How have you flipped the script?